We at the Virginia Beach Sports Site Center, Virginia Beach Sports Center in Virginia Beach, Virginia, and it's the site of the 2022 MEAC Indoor Track and Field Championships. And if the first two days of competition is any indication, today's finals will be nothing less than exciting. Hello, everyone. Charlie Neal, along with my partner, Donna Hopkins, and we'd like to welcome you to Virginia Beach. We're not on the beach, and it's not warm enough to be out there right now, but we're indoors, a great facility here, the Virginia Beach Sports Center. And when you talk about championships, there's a school that's not here this year, a school that, that uh, won four straight MEAC men and women's indoor championships. We're talking about North Carolina A&T. So that means somebody else other than them. Uh, there's eight teams out here, the Elite Eight, <laughs> other than A&T that may win today. Well, Charlie, it's more of an even playing field this year. And looking at the final day, it's neck and neck. It's going to be a battle between Norfolk State and Howard on both sides. And looking at the men, only nine points separate them, and for the women, only two. And as they told me, this is going to be a foot race to the finish line. And you look at Howard's women. They last won this in 1989. Norfolk State's women back in 2010. And on the men's side, Howard won this back Back in 1985, their only time, and you look at North Fort State's men back in 2013, and Charlie, they had won eight consecutive championships. Yeah, they did. Uh, Coach Kenneth Giles, I mean, he came in and they just control what was happening on the indoor scene as far as the the MEAC is concerned uh, we talked about the the track events a little bit let's talk a little bit about the field events well this may be the deciding factor in uh, the the field events because the sprint races are so close and whoever wins the crown it may be because of the field events well we'll see First of all, a little earlier today, I had a chance to spend some time with the new commissioner of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference in her second month as the head CEO of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, Sonia Stills, and we got a chance to talk to her a little earlier. I'm here with Commissioner Sonia Stills of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. 60 days just about into the, into the new regime. Yes, sir. This, this give, give me the first 60 days and what it's been like for you. It has been hectic but it's been great you know i came into the position at a, a interesting time mm -hmm. of year when mm -hmm. you talk about um the things that are going on with the ncaa and the the new constitution and then realignment you know among fcs um conferences so it's been very interesting but it's been very good it's been when you talk about realignment has there been any thought about anything happening with the MEAC in that respect well you know we've always had um membership expansion in mind as part of the strategic and long-range plan so we're always open but we're also looking for institutions who align with us mm -hmm. academically athletically um, and match our mission so we're open and we're always looking um, but we're not in a hurry we need to make sure that we're making a strategic um, decision in regards to where we go and who we bring in well, one of the things that uh, the pandemic did was wiped out this indoor track and field championships a year ago. Talk about the hurdles of, of, of that and bringing it back this year. Yeah, it was very disappointing, you know, for our student athletes. And so it's great to be able to bring them to the Virginia Beach Sports Center. Mm -hmm. um, it's a beautiful facility. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our, our stack, you know, when we talked with them years ago, they always wanted to be at a bank track. Right, right, right. And what a great way to bring them back after the pandemic into this facility that gives them exactly what they wanted. It's a great facility. It moved down from Maryland to Virginia Beach, and it's fantastic uh, operation so far. Let's talk about your vision, though for the conference overall going forward. Yeah, so with my vision is to get our member institutions out there on a national platform more. You know, we have a great relationship with ESPN, sure. um, but we want to be able to get the, our Olympic sports out there a little bit more on a national platform. So that's one of my things that I want to work towards, as well as eSports. I was going to say, that's, that's one of the big th things. That's one of the big things. It kicked so. off this week, right? It, Actually, this is the second, I want to say Third second day. season, but second season. season we started yeah. in um, the fall, and right. you know, this is our spring season, mm -hmm. and it's been tremendous. And, you know, I'm wondering if um, Howard University, who's been really taken off with it, is going to still do that in the spring right behind Morgan. So uh, it's tremendous for us. Um, it's great turning the casual player 
into a competitive player. So it's, it's awesome. I had a little debate with some of your staff yesterday about my ab ability to be on eSports, but <laughs> I told them they don't want a, a ringer in there. Look, for me, I grew up on Atari. So, you know, I haven't played, you know, with Pac-Man and Frogger. So believe me, it'll be me and you trying to figure it out together. Well, one of the things we do know that North Carolina A&T will not win the MEAC Men and Women's Indoor Championship. That's We're going to crown a new winner for the for the first time in the last four meets. Yes. That's got to be something that a lot of these schools are excited about. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, the MEAC has always been competitive. Um, regardless of the institutions who have left, we still have great competition. And so it's going to be see who's going to crown of the uh, the new Elite Eight right. uh, institutions here at Indoor Track. I like that, the Elite Eight. So Sonia Stills, Commissioner, yes. Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference with us here at the Indoor Track and Field Championships. Back with more in a moment. A, a, a great job. I'm sure she's going to do 19 years. She spent as the assistant to Dennis Thomas when he was the commissioner of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. So going to be very interesting checking out the schedule today it's going to be some exciting races we'll kick it off with the, the women's uh, 60 meter hurdles great field it, it's a great field and Charlie as I talked about before these races are so key because it's little that separates each of these runners and they said that execution and executing these races is going to be so key of course we see some of the events that have already taken place the women's pole vault won by a young lady from Delaware State Annalise Bond with a uh, with a pole vault of 3.3 meters or 10 feet 10 inches. Uh, we also had the women's shot put that's uh, already in the books. Uh, Janelle Johnson of Morgan State won that 13.35 was uh, meters of 443.9 and a quarter. And then uh, we also had the women's mile that's in the record books and the young lady from Coppin State Camila uh, Mon Monaroke. Uh, with a time of 5.07.99, followed by Victoria Swepson of North Carolina Central and Kara Grant of Norfolk State. And the men's mile, that's in the books also. Reagan Kentai from Norfolk State won that with a time of 4.21.98. Second place went to Gavin Williams of Howard. And third place, Deshaun Walker of Norfolk State. So exciting field. We talk about the, the women's 60 meters, and you look at the rest of the schedule, some of the other things we're going to see throughout the day uh, we talk about the, the, the 60 both the men and the women well Charlie let's talk a little bit about the 200 because when you look at that 200 on the men's side Norfolk State they have three runners that could sweep that as far as Coles Barnes and Franklin and on the women's side for Howard that's 60 they've got five women runners in that one and also in the 200 they've got six and we're talking about how crucial points are with that many people in the field you know that is going to help them quite a bit that yeah, should be interesting and you see sometimes we got the, the 800 we got the 200 men and women's and the 3,000 need a run so again uh, quite a quite a day of activities and of course it concludes with one of the most exciting races in all of track and field as the 4x400 relay and it's always in the past you know it's been dominant for, from a and t but this year every point counts and it could come down to those final relay races but you can feel the energy and the excitement building right now and charlie the athletes told me well the runners told me on uh day two is that they like the fact that it's close and it may come down to the last race well we got the, the final results on the men's pole vault also now in delaware state's peter kamenu he wins it with a mark of 4.4 meters or 14 feet five and a quarter inches followed by Joshua Gosley of Maryland Eastern Shore and Norfolk State's Jeffrey Kalon came in third. That's the men's pole vault. So that's uh, in the books right now. And as we talked about the fact that we have the women's pole vault, this was today's activities. Shot put and pole vault, uh, the women's pole vault and men's pole vault. But let's talk about this women's 60 meter hurdles that we're about to see. Lane one, freshman from Howard University, Jasmine Hunter. Lane two, Aaliyah Otley, a junior from Morgan State. Lane three, Kay Ray Dunbar, sophomore from Howard. Lane four, 
who had the best time in the preliminaries. That's India Richards, a sophomore from Norfolk State. She ran the preliminaries with a time of 8.43. In lane five, Aaliyah Thompson Rowe from Norfolk State. She's a freshman. In lane six, Catherine Glenn, sophomore from Delaware State. Lane seven, Zion Smith, sophomore from Norfolk State. And lane nine, Aaron Palmer. She's a sophomore from Coppin State. Watch out for lane four, India Richards. She had the best time of all the young ladies in the prelims. And lane five, Aaliyah Thompson. She had the second best time. Lanes four and five. Lanes four, India Richards from Norfolk State. Lane five, Aaliyah, uh, Ali Thompson, rather, Ali Thompson Rowe from Norfolk State. Just a freshman. Miak record. 8.08 .08. Kelly Wells from Hampton did that back in 2006. NCAA record 7.78 set by Brian Rollins McNeil from Clemson. She did that back in 2013. So this is the women's 60 meter hurdles. And Lanes four and five with Richards and Thompson Rowe. But you never can tell. It could be an upset here. Watch out for lane three. Kaya Ray Dunbar from Howard University. She's a young lady that can make things happen, as is the young lady in lane six, Catherine Glenn from Delaware State. And Charlie, you talked about India Richards, and she told me yesterday that everybody has to do what they need to do in order to pull off their races, and this may be a big one for her today. She's in lane four. They're in the blocks. And it's going to be a photo finish. Between Kayla Ray Dunbar and India Richards, it's going to be close. They're going to give it to Kayla Ray Dunbar, I believe, from Howard University. She was in lane three. The young lady in lane five, Ollie Thompson Rowe, pulled up. She never got off the block. Let's look at it once again. Lane three. That's Dunbar from Howard University. She beats her. And and uh, Dunbar was behind at one point, and she came on strong over those last two hurdles, uh, Charlie. What a run in the women's 60-meter hurdles. Dunbar comes in. In the number one spot, followed by India Richards. Third place went to Aliyah Otley from Morgan State. So again, Howard University trying to make its mark right now when you look at the scoring including some of the preliminary events in the women right now Norfolk State comes in with a 21 point lead 96 points to 75 for Howard but Howard just picked up some big points on that one and and coming in you know that uh, Howard was behind by two points in that women's standing and them getting this race right here which India uh, Richards was picked to win this race so that was big with Howard taking the uh, the 60 hurdles Look, you you're correct and in the pre prelims uh, India Richards ran an 8.43 that was the best time the second best time was run by Allie Thompson Rowe, who pulled up and never really got out the blocks for Norfolk State. She's just a freshman. And meanwhile, the third place uh, uh, finisher in the prelims wound up winning the race.
Hey, hey, Charlie, that's where that experience comes in. You know, the freshman, she, she's got three more years after this, but uh, the seniors and the upperclassmen proved to be the dominant ones uh, today. So the time was 8.40 for Dunbar. And 8.44 for Richards. 8.44 for Richards. And 8.71 for Otley. Now we're getting ready for the men to do their thing in the 60 meter hurdles. The men's 60 meter hurdles record is 7.63. Mike Dixon from North Carolina A&T set that record back in 2018. The NCAA record is 7.35. And Grant Holloway of the University of Florida did that back in 2019. Howard University out of the eight spots in this race has three spots Norfolk State two. So we'll again watch lanes four and five. Those two runners had the best times and they tied for the best times in the prelims. Uh, Tayshawn Chisholm from Delaware State a senior. He'll be in lane number four. He ran an 801 in the prelims. In lane five is Jermaine Bird, a senior from Howard University, who also ran an 801 in the prelim. Charlie, is anybody's race uh, is that close? And if Howard can pull off those two first spots, that will help them in that that uh, race also for the team. Lanes two is a Howard University sophomore and Zach Hawkins. Lane three is a Howard University senior and Darian Clyborne. And of course, I mentioned Norfolk State has a two sp two spots there, and that's lane seven and eight with and Tavion Payne, a junior, and Joshua Sutton, a redshirt sophomore. Well, if this race is anything like the women, this is going to be a photo finish. Oh, I'm sure it will be. If you look back over to day one, this is day three of this championship. Monday's track action the first day the championship to 5,000 meters won by South Carolina State junior Jada Banks with a time of 18.03 14 second place went to Jocelyn Crosby a freshman from Howard University with a time of 18.37.82 and third place to Frida Coach of a junior from Norfolk State with a time of 18.42 66 of course the record for the MIAC for the women in the 5,000 meters 17 20 24 set by Aurelio Jep career of Maryland Eastern Shore. She did that back in 2020. Of course, we talked to Commissioner Stills and we acknowledge the fact that COVID wiped out this beat a year ago, but they did manage to get the outdoor done down in uh, Greensboro, but the indoor was uh, taken away because of COVID. Yeah, Charlie, talking to some of the runners yesterday, they talked about how hard this was coming back from a COVID just mentally. And, and, you know, all last year they talked about mental health and they said that this was challenging for them to come back after a COVID year. But they were ready to go and excited about the indoor season being uh, starting again. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. One of the things we talked to. Commissioner Stills about was the uh, esports, what the conference is doing in terms of esports. Uh, it kicked off the second season just this Monday. Uh, Super Smash Brothers, Ultimate, Rocket League, Halo, Infinite, and Call of Duty, Cold War. There's some of the games to be played this season. So uh, tryouts are over, but they're still recruiting. The regular season will run through. Uh, from the starting this week through the uh, April 11th that will mark the postseason play. So you each Tuesday you'll see players compete in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Rocket League Halo uh, while Infinite and Call of Duty will be on tap each Thursday. So for more information about the eSports on the MEAC go to the MEAC website www.themeacsports.com eSports is big Charlie. It is. It is very big and the MEAC is a part of it. They are a part of it. So again, you have Norfolk State trying to do something they haven't done on the men's side since 2013, on the women's side since 2010. 
Howard University hasn't won on the women's side since 1983 and on the men's side 1980. It's been a long drought for our, for both schools. And and talking to Howard's coach uh, David Oliver he talked about just being in the conversation this year and the having the opportunity to have a chance to walk away with the championship and that would be huge for Howard's program. It certainly would be. So again we're awaiting the start of the men's 60. They're in the blocks right now. We talked about lanes four and five. But watch lanes three and six. Lane four, Chisholm from Delaware State. Lane five, Bird from Howard University. State. It's going to be a close one at the end. It looked like maybe Delaware State, and that is Tayshawn Chisholm, might have gotten across the tape ahead of Jermaine Bird. So, unofficially, it's Chisholm and Bird. And Chisholm, uh, Charlie, when you look at the replays, he took the lead on that fourth hurdle. Clyburn was third. Looking at it once again, like you said, there he is. The senior from Delaware State University came into this particular in the preliminary. There he is over the hurdles. Here's the just beating out. Jermaine Bird at the tape. Eight. Seven. Point nine two. Seven point nine eight. And eight oh six. There's some good times there. Remember the record was 7.63 for the MIAC. So Tayshawn Chisholm not too far off that record. Not far off. Men's 60 meter hurdles just completed in the books. We talked about Chisholm before the race started. He was in lane number four. And Jermaine Bird, lane five, they both had the same times, exact same times in the prelims. Eight oh one. And we'll see a couple of these athletes competing in a couple of numerous events here today. Uh, especially when you come to the distance distance runs. Uh, our next event will be the women's 400 meters. That's always an exciting race. Women's 400 meters. And, and Charlie talking to Malika Pride. Uh, she talked a little bit about the 200 race and the 400 and I asked her I said which is your favorite and she said definitely the 400 mm -hmm. and you look at her competition in the 400 it's going to be close for her to pull out that one but she has ran well all season long yeah Malika from uh, Norfolk State University uh, the senior redshirt senior uh, and of course the best time in the prelims for the 400 meters was set by Jessica Wright senior from out of Howard University this may be a photo finish also. So they're going to run this in two sections. Because there are only six lanes on this oval track.
And as I said, with only six lanes on the oval track, they'll run it in two sections. They'll run lanes. Let me just make sure I have my lanes correct. Three, four, five, and six. So when you look at this, men, the women's 400 meters, which we're getting ready to run. In about five minutes, you will see a field of eight runners. As I said they're going to run it in two sections. And they'll use lanes three, four, five, and six because of the oval track only has six lanes. So we can't put everybody on the track at the same time. The first section will be Franicia Brown, South Carolina State, and Kyra Lyles, Delaware State, Chanel Tomlinson from Coppin, and Kamani Alphonse from Coppin State. In the second section, Oziama Scott from Howard, Catherine Lane from Coppin, Jessica Wright from Howard University, and Malika Pride from Norfolk State University. We're going back to day one, recapping some of the stuff we talked about, what happened on the, the women's side, on the men's side in the 5,000 meters. We saw Howard University walk away with the top two spots, led by Gavin Williams, a senior with a time of 15, 16, 46, followed by his teammate, Ayati Adibai, a senior from right here in Virginia Beach. He had a time of 15, 20, 02. Third place went to Albert Norman, a junior from Delaware State. He had a time of 15, 23, 38. Mayak men's indoor record for the 5,000 meters. 14, 17, 22. That was set by Khalil Remiti Canini from Maryland Eastern Shore. He did that back in 2017. And if anybody remembers anything about that young man, he was one of the all time great and uh, track and field athletes ever in the Mid Eastern Athletic Conference. As for the finals, on uh, day one, in a couple of field events, the women's long jump won by Nikkei Fitzgerald, a freshman from Howard University. She did that with a jump of 5.8 meters or 819.2 inches. In second place, senior Naomi English from Maryland Eastern Shore with a jump of 5.7 meters or 18 feet 9 inches. In third place, Went to Frida Coach of Norfolk State Junior with a jump of 5.86 meters or 18.8.75 inches. It was the second event that Coach finished third on the first day of action. She also competed in the 5,000 meters. Yeah. To get ready for this one, you're looking at lane number five at Kyra Lyles from Delaware State University. Preliminary time of, well, that's Coppin State. I'm correction. That's. Uh, Chanel Tomlinson Jr. from Coppin State 5602 was her preliminary time. She'll be in lane number five. Lane number three from South Carolina State is Renicia Brown. She had a time of 5757 in the prelims. From South Carolina State. And of course, the record is 50.54, set by Francina McCrory of Hampton University. She did that back in 2010. She is a MEAC Hall of Famer. The NCAA record for the women's 400 meter indoor, set by Kendall Ellis of Southern Cal, with a time of 50.34. She did that back in 2018. Three, four, five, and six are our lanes. Kamani Alphonse, lane number six, junior from Coppin State. Lane number five, her teammate Chanel Tomlinson, also a junior. And in lane number four, Del Delaware State's Kyra Lyles. 
Denisha Brown is in lane number three. The ladies are getting in the blocks. The women's 400 meters off and running. Kamani Alphonse out in front, lane number six. Alphonse and Tomlinson. Out in front, Tomlinson making a move on the back stretch. Coming down. One lap to go. There's the time. Move being made by Kyra Lyles of Delaware State, and she's going to finish second. Kyra Lyles of Delaware State. Actually, they say that uh, maybe they had some replacements in here because the numbers that I see up on the board are not what <laughs> I have in my stat sheet. So they had Howard in there, maybe a they switch positions. Let's see. I'm gonna have to look at uh, the bibs from now on. So it looks like Delaware State is in this particular. Event. So it was Alphonse Scott and Tomlinson. So they mixed up where which positions they were in. Alphonse Scott. So Scott finished. She ran in that first section. And then Tomlinson. Either way this is for the best record throughout the day. Malika Pride. On the back stretch, here they come around the home stretch. Howard University's Jessica Wright trying to make her move. As they come around, here comes Jessica Wright. Jessica Wright takes the lead. It's Jessica Wright. She's going to cross the tape first. Jessica Wright, Howard University. Followed by Malika Pride and Catherine Lane. Wright, Pride, Lane. So now it's who had the best times between those two sections will determine the top spots. Four hundred meters. 
you see Jessica Wright Howard University making a move now here's the home stretch and there's Jessica Wright taking over for Malika pride and crossing the finish line first so the order will be right pride and lane in that heat Now they'll put the best times together when you run these two heats like that or two sections. And who had the best times between the two. So the top three will be Jessica Wright looks like along with pride second and the Kamani Alphonse the young lady from. Coppin State who won the first section she came in third. So that's the way it stands right now for the ladies in the 400 meter. Jessica Wright. She ran in the second heat Malika pride. And Kamani Alphonse. Alphonse came in over the time of 54 85. Malika Pride finished with a time of 53.49. And Howard's Jessica Wright of 53.20. We talked about Francina McCory holding the conference record. And these conference records are all meet records, these indoor MEAC championships. And she did that with a time of 50.5. Five four, back in 2010. So with the men, they'll be coming up shortly. The men's 400. In a few minutes, the men are starting to line up now. Let's see if we can make sure who's in which lane this particular time. Lane five. Norfolk State. Dell State is in lane three. That is Malachi Little. The best time will be run that was run in the prelims. It was run by Traquan Barnes of Norfolk State with a 47.65. Men's 400 record is 45-62. Tower Richard of South Carolina State did that in 2019. NCAA record 44-52. Michael Norman Southern Cal did that in 2018. So in this 400, Morgan has and UMES both have two runners competing in separate heats. Morgan has Keon Ratton, senior in the first heat. And in the second heat, it'll be Emmanuel Ibe. So you got Ranton in lane six, Harrison. From Norfolk State in lane five. Lane four. Is Emmanuel Ebe from Morgan State. Delaware State 
Malachi Little. In lane three. Men's 400. Keon Ranton being followed by Darian Harrison. Emmanuel Ibe from Morgan's in third. They come around for the first lap. It's Norfolk State's Darian Harrison. But Morgan State's. Edba has taken the lead. And it's Morgan State. Morgan State. Here comes Harrison trying to beat him at the he may have gotten across ahead of him. What a finish. Delaware State's in there also. And Malachi Little. Here's the Spartan. Darian Harrison. Dazon Harrison, Ranton, and Little. Harrison, Ranton, Little. In the first of the two sectionals. What a finish for that young man, the sophomore. Preliminary time was 48 40. So we're getting ready for the second section of this the men's 400. Six, Jelani Watkins from Maryland Eastern Shore. Lane five, Traquan Barnes from Norfolk State. Lane four is Norfolk State's Savian Hayes. And in lane three, Is a shot a Shane Beckford from Maryland Eastern Shore? Tracon Barnes had the best time in the prelims of 47 65. Remember, the meet record is 45 62. Tyrell Richard, South Carolina State, set that in 2019. And this one is off. It's Raquan Barnes making his move right away. As they come around the curve on the top side. Barnes out in front. Second place is Watkins. Barnes still rolling. Watkins in second place. Devin Hayes from Norfolk State basically has given up. He's just trotting around the track. But look at Traquan Barnes. Traquan Barnes still rolling. It'll be Traquan Barnes, Norfolk State, coming out and winning the men's 400. Traquan Barnes followed by Jelani Watkins and Ashane Beckford.
Those are the top three to finish in that second sectional. So we'll have to get the times and see who comes out victorious overall. But Barnes time 4702. So I'm sure he placed. It's just a matter where. 4702. Again, the record was 4562. Donna is down on the field. She has someone she's going to be talking to. Donna? Hey, yeah, Charlie. I'm here with Jessica Wright. She's the winner of the 400. And Jessica, talk about that race because on that back stretch, you won that. Um, I really just got out and um, I was going to try to push in the first 200, but I heard my coach in the corner say, stay relaxed. So I just used that. Like, I stayed relaxed the first 200 and then just pushed when it mattered at the end, like last 150. Just talk about this season for you. How special has it been having the indoor season again? Uh, we didn't have indoor season last year, so it's kind of like we're picking up from where we left off at PG County Sports Lab. So it's just like, it's just a blessing, honestly, to come back and run such fast times after a year break. But we've been training hard, so who knew what happened? Well, when you, when you look at the team events, you all came in here, it's almost like neck to neck. So every race is so important moving forward. Um, yeah. Our sprints, honestly, is phenomenal. We have a lot of phenomenal freshmen. They're like, very deep in the sprint. So, like, um, I'm, we're not worried. I'm not worried about this championship. I feel like we got in the bag. Congratulations. Charlie, back up to you. All right. Thank you very much, Jessica Wright. Congratulations. Winner of the women's 400 meter with a time of 53.20 here at the MEAC Indoor Track and Field Championships. We're at Virginia Beach at their sports center. Gorgeous facility. Charlie Neal here along with my partner Donna Hopkins. And you look at the championships so far. How we're standing. We have 10 of 17 events scored on the men's side. And Donna Hopkins is standing by. She has another interview down there. Go, let's go down to Donna. Traquan Bonds, what a race. Just talk about that race. 47-02. I just try to get out and get to the three, get to the break, and just hold on. I started dying, but I made it through. Uh, yeah, just got out. Just, just try to attack the race and just try to hold on. So, so the men's competition is so close. Talk a little bit about that between uh, Norfolk State and Howard and how big that race was winning. It was good. It's close. Um, the rest of the guys just got to do their job and just try to, try to get as many points as we can so they don't have to can come down to the 4x4 four four and we can host the trophy up. Thanks a lot. Go get, go, go get your breath, Brett. You. Charlie, back to you. All right, Traquan Barnes, Norfolk State, has had the second best time in the MEAC this season, which was a 47 45. He did that on January 15th to win the event at the Gamecock, op Gamecock opener. Uh, Traquan Barnes from Norfolk State University, congratulations to him winning the men's 400. The women's 400, of course, won by, and we say he won, uh, we assume that he won. Uh, he he had the top time in his particular heat, but uh, we're waiting for the, the the final three top three scores between the two heats, and I'm sure with that time of 47:02, that was pretty good. So I'm just waiting for the uh, official score to come in for the men's 400. So it'll be Barnes, followed by Jelani Watkins and Ashani Beckford. Those were the top three times. So Barnes 47.02. Jelani Watkins a 47.76 to finish second. And Ashane Beckford a 47.94.
and those three times all came in that second heat. Beckford was originally going to run in the first heat with Little, Harrison, and Ratton. Harrison won that heat, but they swapped out a little bit and they went the other way. So first place, Traycon Barnes, Jelani Watkins in second with a time of 47.76. Next most exciting race, we're going to see one of the sprint races, the women's 60 meters. The MIAC record is 7.25. Kayla White, North Carolina A&T, did it back in 2019. The NCAA record, 7.05. Kimba Nelson from Oregon did it in 2021. So we have eight lanes, eight runners. Howard has five of these spots in the 60 meters. And out of those five spots, three of them are freshmen. Norfolk State occupying two spots. So when you look at the lanes, senior from Howard is in lane one. Lamaria Washington is in lane two. Amina Salee from Howard is the young lady in lane one. Washington from Howard, a freshman in lane two. Tiffany Ray Pittman, a freshman from Howard in lane three. Watch lanes four and five with Latifa Ali from Coppin and Jessica Goodbye from Howard University, a senior. Norfolk, uh, Howard University in lane six, Sherry Ann Norton. Lane seven, Norfolk State's India Richards. And Ali Thompson Rowe, a freshman from Norfolk State, in lane number eight. Lanes four and five, the top had the exact same times in the prelims of 7.53 talking about Latifa Ali from Coppin State and Jessica Dubai from Howard University. They both ran a 7.53 but right on their heels is a young lady that's in lane six Sherry Ann Norton. She's a freshman from Howard University. I mentioned they have that is Howard five spots in this particular 60 meter race for the women. And three of those spots occupied by freshmen. The young lady in lane eight for Norfolk State is also a freshman. We're talking about Ali Thompson Rowe. So in addition to Howard having three freshmen in there, there are actually four freshmen competing in this event. Richards also competed in the 60 meter hurdles earlier. And she finished second with a time of 844. Richards in lane number eight, seven correction. Competed in the 60 meter hurdles. They kicked off this afternoon's coverage. And here they go. That's going to be a close one. That's going to be a close one. Oh, it's going to be a close one. Too close for me to tell. Let's see what the board says. They're saying Sherry Ann Norton from Howard, Latifa Ali from Coppin, and goodbye from Howard. Norton, Ali, goodbye. close especially crossing the finish line four seven four six seven four seven seven five one Now the men 
preparing for their 60 meter dash. And we look at the men's record 6.59. That record held by Demick Kent from South Carolina State. He set that record in this meet back in 2018. The NCAA record is 6.45. Terrence Jones of Texas Tech put that record on the mark back on January 15th of this year, just a little over a month ago. So we have all eight lanes filled. The best time in the prelims was set by Joseph Manu, senior out of Coppin State. He'll be in lane number four. Next, next best time was set by Anthony Franklin, out of Norfolk State, a sophomore, he'll be in lane number five. As you look at the photo finish there, boy, that was close. Norton from Howard University, followed by Dunbar, uh, I should say Dunbar from Howard University. Let me start over. Just a 60 women's 60 meter dash. It was Norton from Howard University. Ali from Coppin and Dubai from Howard University in third place. But we were talking about the men. Anthony Franklin of Norfolk State, a sophomore, had the second best preliminary time. And that was followed by Kai Cole, who will be in lane number three. He's a junior from Norfolk State. So lane one, we have Andre Carr from Delaware State. Lane two, Maki Herring, a junior from Maryland Eastern Shore. Lane three, Kai, Kai Cole from Norfolk State, a junior. Lane four, Joseph Manu, senior from Coppin State. Lane five, Anthony Franklin, sophomore from Norfolk State. Lane six, Adrian Holly, junior from Morgan. Lane seven, Waddell Rimberjet, sophomore, redshirt sophomore from South Carolina State. And in lane eight, you'll see Eric Hill. He is a freshman from South Carolina State. Been an exciting day so far. So we saw the women's 60 yard dash. Or 60 meter dash. 60, 60 meter dash. Not 60 yards or 60 meters. And the winner of this women's 60 meters was Sherry Ann Norton from Howard University. And I think she's standing by with Donna. Let's see. Yeah, Charlie, down here with Sherry Ann Norton, and what a race. I talked to Jessica, your teammate, yesterday, and she said that you all take turns beating each other in practice. Um, well, my teammates are very competitive, and they're good. So every time when we have practice, we always try to make each other do good. Like, yeah. How tough was that race? Because it came down to the very end. It was almost like a photo finish. Um, I just listened to what my coach always telling me to swing my arms, swing my arms, and that's what I did. Cut the arms, follow the legs. Howard had four runners in that 60. What a race. And that's going to help you all's points as far as the team. Yeah, we all came out and we said we need to sweep the 60 and the two, and that's what we did. Congratulations, and Charlie, back up to you. Well, congratulations to the young ladies, Sherry Ann Norton from Howard University, a freshman. So her future is very bright for Coach David Oliver and the Bison of Howard University. Coming in to her first indoor championship, a freshman, and she walks away with the gold medal. First place. That's something to be said for her. She's trotting around the track now. She's taking the shoes off. She's taking that what we call that victory lap. <laughs> Enjoying the moment. And her fans are cheering her on. 
Sherry Ann Norton from Howard University. Just went over and her coach just gave her a hug. Again, the men getting ready to run their 60. They're in the blocks. Watch out for lanes three, four, and five. Cole, Manu, and Franklin. Norfolk State, Coppin, and Norfolk State. Be lane three. Kai Cole looks like from Norfolk State coming out on top. Cole Manu from Coppin and Anthony Franklin from Norfolk State. And looks like the top three times in that for the men 60 meter dash. 6.66, 71, and 79. You see it once again. Congratulations, Kai Cole. Beat out Joseph Manu, who had the best time in the prelims, and Anthony Franklin came in third. So they finished lanes three, four, and five respectively. Times of six, 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 seven, one, six, seven, nine. And again, the record is six point five nine set in this meet back in 2018 by Demick Kemp from South Carolina State. You see the results right there. Carr finished in fourth place. Our next race will be the women's 800 meter. Meantime, there's still some field events still going on. Let's go down to Donna. She has an interview. Hey, Charlie, thank. I'm here with the 60 dash winner, Cal Cole from North Fork. Cal, you told me yesterday that the hardest part of this season was putting together the 60 to run your perfect race. Did you run your perfect race today? Yeah, I want to say, yeah. Sorry, I lost my voice for yesterday's screaming, but yeah, I think I put it together well. But I was hoping to run a faster time than that, but 
66 is good, I guess. That, that's not bad, but what was the key? Because this was a dominant uh, group of runners, and you ran away with the field at the end. I mean, all you got to do is stay locked in, stay focused. And, you know, you can see what outcome you get when you lock in, stay focused, and have a great coach like Coach Jerry Price and Kenneth Giles. You can do anything. Yeah. Congratulations. Charlie, back up to you. All right, thank you very much and congratulations to the young man from Norfolk State University, winner of the men's 60 meters, Kai Cole. I'm sure he's a very happy young man right now. Ty Cole comes from Northern Virginia, a product of T.C. Williams High. Actually transferred in here, went to Wesley College before he came to Norfolk State. He's only five foot five inches. He's a junior. And we say congratulations to him. When you think about T.C. Williams High, you. Think of remember the Titans. Last year he was uh, on the honor roll for both semesters indoor jumped in all five meets. Outdoor he was a MIAC medal winner in both the long jump and the triple jump. He started his career at division three school at Wesley he where he was a national champion in the 60 meter dash as a freshman. Clocking a personal rest, a record of 6.73. He ran a 6.66 today. That was at the indoor nationals. And at uh, TC Williams, he was a state 6A champion in the outdoor 200 meters his senior year. Majoring in exercise science. So we say congratulations. To Kai Cole. So the women's 800 meter about to get underway. Four laps on this 2000, uh, 200 meter track. Sierra Brown of Hampton University holds the record in this event with a time of 2.04.72. She set that back in 2016. The NCAA record is 158.40. Anything moved. From Texas A&M did it in 2021. So this will be run in three sections. There'll be three runners in section one, seven in section two, and eight in section three. Kara Grant had the third best time in the MIAC this season with a time of 215.75. Her best time was a 211. 11 in the Penn State Nationals a couple of years ago. During the season, Jemai Wyatt of Coppin had the best time during the season, 213-16. And Kalai Monaroke of Coppin had the second best time during the season of 213. 26. Kalai already won a distance meet earlier today. She won the women's mile, if I'm not mistaken. And she did with a time of So as I said, just three runners in this first section. Two from Morgan, or maybe, yeah, two from Morgan and one from Howard.
Lane one will be Yasmin George from Morgan. Deja Wilson from Howard will be in lane two. And lane three will be Kamara Mitchell, or I should say Michelle Kamara from Morgan State. George Wilson Kamara. Four laps. This is the women's 800 meter run. There'll be three sections, as I said. Well, again, officials are huddling up. I'm not sure what the discussion is all about. But they're delaying the start of this. The women's 800 meter run. In case you missed it, the men's long jump was won by Coppin State Junior Jeff Hammond. He did that with a jump of 7.59 meters or 24.11 inches. Second place captured by senior Lamar Davis of Morgan State. A jump of 7.55 meters or 24 feet 9 and a quarter inch. Third place was his Morgan State teammate Kobe Jordan Rooms. Grad student from Jamaica with a jump of 7.43 meters or 24 feet 4.50 inches. The MIAC's indoor long jump record, 7.86 meters, set by Corey Vinston of Norfolk State back in 2009. After the first day of competition here, Howard University was in the lead, followed by Morgan State and South Carolina State on the men's side. Norfolk State and Howard were tied with Morgan State third. But right now, if you look at uh, the team scoring, you find Norfolk State with the on the men's side, leading Howard 118 to 85. On the ladies' side, Howard University is on top, leading Norfolk State 138 to 121 in terms of points. Morgan State holding down third place. They're just three points behind Howard on the men's side. But uh, 39 points behind Norfolk State on the lady side. That's at this point, with still four events to go on the women's side, five to go on the men.
So we're running about five minutes late on the start of this particular race. Well, if the officials are having an issue, maybe they, they do like we do with the NFL or football or basketball. We go to the monitor, and check it out. But I have no idea what the what the holdup is or what the discussion is. <laughs> so, with that being said. Let's uh, recap a little bit of what happened on Tuesday here at the Sports Center in Virginia Beach. The distance medley, which is a 1,200 meter, they ran a, there was a leg of 1,200 meters, a leg of 400 meters, a leg of 800 meters, and a leg of 1,600 meters, total distance 400 meters, and nearly two and a half miles. On the women's side, Coppin State, uh, Finished with a time of 12 12 22. Their runners was Wyatt, Gaye, Constantine, and Monaroque. Of course, Monaroque is in this event here that we're waiting for. She's already won the mile here. This is the 800. We're ready, getting ready to start. Second place went to South Carolina State with a time of 12 36 15 with Myers, Williams, Jones, and Banks. And third place. Went to Norfolk State with a time of 12.37.14 with Coach Pride, Wilson, and Grant. Miak record for the distance medley is 11.50.18. Hampton did that back in 2010. On the men's side of the distance medley, the Miak record was 9.59.50, set by Merlin Eastern Shore in 2017. Uh, yesterday, it was Norfolk State who won it with a time of 10.23.15 with Kim Tai, Zellender, Two, and Walker. Morgan State was second with a time of 10:26.79, with runners Bryant, Ibe, Jones, and Wallace. Delaware State was third, 10:29.57, with Smith, Little Guy, and Norman. Delaware State had the best time in the regular season, with a time of 10:31.45. So the runners who the top three that are supposed to start this particular 800 race. They've been running up and down the track just trying to keep warm. They've been standing around a long time. This is an event that was supposed to start. I think something like 10 15 minutes ago. about 10 minutes behind now and it's still whatever they're doing <laughs> maybe they forgot their the tools they forgot the the yard markers the penalty flags whatever I don't know you're still trying to get it together and there you see Morgan States Yasmin George she's a junior Sure, she's tired of standing around waiting for this to start. <laughs> she's in lane number one. Lane number two will be occupied by the Sia Wilson from Howard University, a junior. And lane number three, Michelle Kamara, a junior from Morgan State. Well, you would think they would have had this <laughs> done before, but again, you got to remember the event before this was a 60 meter dash. They weren't even on the oval track.
Well, they've got the cones down and they've got them all around the track, right in the middle. And they have them right between lanes four and three. Well, we've talked about the two events that were held yesterday, finals, the distance medley, both men and women. Some more action that happened yesterday was the high jump final for the women. The MIAC record 187, 1.87 meters. Deandra Daniel of Coppin State did that in 2015. The winner yesterday. Tanisha Wilson of Norfolk State, 156, 1.56 meters. Damon Moore, Morgan State, 1.53. Diamond Moore, I should say, uh, 1.53 meters. And Shante Seal from Norfolk State, 1.50 meters. In fact, during the regular season, Wilson had the second best time, 1.60 meters. And Moore, the third best time, 1.57 meters. That was in the women's high jump. Well, they've moved people around. They're not in the lanes they were originally in now. Yasmin George is now in lane number four. Lane two is Daisy Sia Wilson of Howard University. She's actually all the way on the inside right now. And this may be one of those races where George is, well, she just, they started with a stagger. Now she's down all the way on the inside. Wilson is second place. Camara of Morgan State is in third. Remember, this is a four lap race, one lap complete already. Meet time 204.72. Two laps complete, two to go. Morgan State still in the hunt for points wise and now here comes Wilson she's taking the lead for Howard University she just passed up the young lady from Morgan State Yasmin George I was getting ready to say Morgan State last won the women's indoor championship back in 1990 that was their only women's indoor championship So, George, uh, they, uh, Sia Wilson from Howard University, this is the third lap. The last lap, and it's Wilson, Howard University, George second. So it's all about the best time. The time for that was 2.20.62 for the winner. So now our next section will consist of seven runners. Starting with Claudia Constantine 
from Coppin. Ariana Harrell from North Carolina Central. Michaela Jones, South Carolina State. Brianna McDonald from Howard. Ashani Robb from Maryland Eastern Shore. Jalisa Emmons, North Morgan State. And Ty Brown from Delaware State. Actually, it looks like they have eight runners in here. I thought it was. No, it's only seven. Ty Brown from Delaware State. Jalisa Emmons, Morgan State. Ashani Robb, Morgan State. Brianna McDonald. They're on the inside. Up top, out high. Is North Carolina Central's Ariana Harrell. Side now is Ty Brown from Delaware State. She was just passed by North Carolina Central's Harrell. So Harrell in first place now after a lap. Kyla Jones, South Carolina State, trying to make a move right now. Morrell, North Carolina Central in first, two laps gone. Two oh four, seventy two, the meet record. Morell losing a little ground now. And South Carolina State's Michaela Jones trying to make a move, but Harrell trying to hold in there. Last lap. Ty Brown, Delaware State now in last place. Coming down the home stretch now. Morell trying to hold on to the top spot. Looks like she's added a little juice to it. The battle is going to be for second place right now. And it looks like Claudia Constantine possibly. Let's see who we have. Morell, Emmons, and Constantine. Morell, Emmons, and Constantine. In that race,
So we get ready for the third heat in this the women's 800 400 meter or 800 meter correct. Howard University in lane number eight. That's Camille Egbula. Lane seven. Debriel Williams from South Carolina State. Elisa Mark from Howard in lane six. Lane five. Salome Agaye from Coppin. Victoria Swepson from North Carolina Central is in lane four. Kara Grant, Norfolk State in lane three. Camila Monroe in lane number two. That's a young lady who's won a couple of races already today. Lane one is Jemai Wyatt from Coppin State, a freshman. So the first two spots occupied by Coppin State right now. Camille Agbula from Howard University making a move. Out in front right now, though, is Coppin State's Jamay Wyatt. Followed by Camila Monarok. Lane three's Kara Grant, Norfolk State, starting to make a move. She's now in third place. Kara Grant, Norfolk State, in third place, trying to move up on second. But being followed very closely by Victoria Swepson from North Carolina Central. Again, Wyatt Coppin State, the freshman, still out in front. Teammate Camila from Coppin, who's won. The mile race earlier today. In third place right now is Victoria Swepson from North Carolina Central. It's a battle for third. And again, here's Kara Grant moving back into third place. Now Kara Grant starting to make a move. And so is Monaro on her teammate. There's a young lady who's already won the mile and she will win this one with Coppin State in second Norfolk State Kara Grant in third. Monroe Wyatt and Grant. See it right now on the final stretch. So let's see what the final numbers are going to be overall. Camila Monaroque in lane eight Coppin had the second best time during the season of 213 26 won the women's mile earlier today with the 507 99 time and there's the top three finishes in the 800 went 800 run 214 74 for Monaroque 215 27 for Wyatt and 215.98 Car Grant. That was a strong heat, that third heat. Now we get ready for the men's 800. Again, three runners in the first of three heats. Coppin State. That's them. 
right. Ivan Wiggins Emgren. Also in there from Coppins. Is from Maryland Eastern Shore is Naham Fitwe and Andrew Latimer from South Carolina State. Latimer from South Carolina State in second place right now. Maryland Eastern Shores fit we in second and third rather. The men's 800 meter record is 151 35. Set by Stanley Davis of Hampton in 2015. In CAA record 144 84 Paul. Ringo from the University of Virginia did that in 1989. So three sections or so three heats three in the first six in the second eight in the third. The top three doing the regular season. Is, are all in section three of this. We'll talk about them when we get ready to run section three. But way out in front. Is. A young man from Coppin State University. That's Ivan Wiggins Ingram. He's a sophomore. Second place now, Maryland Eastern Shore. Falling into third is Andrew Latimer from South Carolina State. First of three heats. This will be the final run. Coming down the home stretch. Here's Wyatt. Correction In Ingram Wiggins Ingram 201.99 for Ingram. So the second heat will consist of six runners. And out of the six that are in this particular heat, four are freshmen, two are sophomores. Khalid Berry from Howard, a freshman. Matron Thornton from South Carolina State, a sophomore. Malcolm Garbutt from Delaware State, a freshman. Brandon Jones, a freshman from Morgan State. Nasir Wallace, freshman from Morgan State. And Jaheed Norbal, a sophomore from Coppin State. So Barry and Thornton starting in lanes four. the inside number three is Delaware State's Garbutt next to him Brandon Jones Nasir from Morgan Nasir Wallace from Morgan and Jaheed Norble from Coppin State men second heat of the 800 meters One heat already done. 201.99. Ivan Wiggins Ingram. University 
Ali Berry taking the lead. In second place, Matron Thornton from South Carolina State. Third place belongs to Delaware State's Malcolm Garbutt. Meet record 151 35. Stanley Davis of Hampton did that in 2015 in this indoor meet. Lee Berry still holding on to that top spot. A lap to go. It looks like Barry from Howard University is going to win the second heat of the men's 800 meters. He'll be followed by Thornton from South Carolina State. Well, maybe not. Actually, Thornton may win this one <laughs> at the wire. 157 24 for Thornton. Very interesting finish. Thornton made the move right at the end. Garbutt finished third in that heat. Thornton had led. Correction Barry had led throughout and then right down the final stretch Thornton stretched it out with time of 157 24. Now the third and final heat. Amadou Ba from Coppin State. We talked about the top three finishers during the regular season. In this men's 800, he had the best time. Amadou Ba from Coppin State of 151.70. Randy Seville from Coppin State had the second best time of 153.85. Nathan Nazi Guy had the third best time. Guy from Delaware State. So Coppin State two runners in this heat Central has a couple of runners in this heat. Right now we have Tyler Jeffers out in front Tyler Jeffers out of South Carolina State. Heels of Jeffers is his teammate Randy Seville, Coppin State. Now, second place belongs to Norfolk State's Reagan Kimtai. Kimtai from Norfolk State now in third place. First place regained. By Amadou Ba. So it's Ba in first place, Jeffers from South Carolina State in second, and Kim Tai from Norfolk State in third, but somebody just passed him. Final lap. Home stretch. So it'll be Ba, Kim T Jeffers, and Serville. 154 14.
Bob Jeffers and Seville. So that pretty exciting. Men's 800. We're going to have another exciting sprint race coming up with the women's 200. With 154.14 was the time that Bob put on the board. The junior out of Coppin State University. Second place went to South Carolina State's Tyler Jeffers. As you look at coming down the home stretch, here's Bob. Followed by Jeffers with Nathaniel Goff, guy from North uh, Delaware State in third place. So the 800 meters by the overall winner, 154.14. Jeffries 155 18 and third place Seville, uh, Seville 155 68 actually it was Seville not guy, not guy Randy Seville for Coppin so Coppin takes two of the top three spots this is a bill 155 68. Now we get ready for the women's 200. And this will be run in two heats. Record for the women's 200 meters 2266. Kayla White AT did it 2019. NCAA record is 2238. Let's see who's going to win this first heat. Looks like Coppin States. Latifa Ali, the junior. He's already won a race earlier today. I don't say she won. She placed in the top three. Twenty-three sixty-five. Norton from Howard. The freshman is second. So in this second heat of the women's 200, we have Malika Pride. She's in lane number five, lane number six. Jessica Goodbye from Howard University. Lane number four is Howard University's. 
Tiffany Ray Pittman. And Howard University has Kennedy Lewis. In lane number three. Young lady from Atlanta, Georgia. Howard, three runners in this heat. Malika Pride, the only non bison. She's from Norfolk State. Lane five. The bye off and running. Here comes Malika Pride trying to do it. But look at lane three. Coming down the stretch, it's going to be a close one, but it's going to be Jessica Gabay, followed by Norfolk State's Malika Pride. Third place will go to Tiffany Ray Pittman. 23 78. Pride ran a 23 91. So it'll be goodbye. It'll be Ali, goodbye, and pride. Ali won the first heat. So you just saw the results of the women's 200 meter. Now the men's 200 meter. This will also be running two heats. Lane six, Joseph Manu of Coppin State University. Men's 200 record is 2059, set by Chris Belcher of North Carolina A&T, 2017. Elijah Hall of Houston holds the NCAA record of 2002. He did that in 2018. He's going to run this in two heats. Norfolk State has three spots in the final. Front Manu from Coppin State. The 
What a finish that time. Looks like Anthony Franklin from Norfolk State beat out Manu to the time of 21 01. Manu finished 21 08. As they came down to back stretch, you saw Franklin make his move. Seventh one hundredths of a second separated the two. Franklin and Manu. Franklin and Manu both ran in the 60 meter meter hurdles about 50 minutes ago. Franklin had the third best time in this 200 event. This season. 21 23 Norfolk State. Again had the top three spots in the 200 for the men. During the regular season. Mentioned Franklin and Manu ran in the 60 earlier. Manu finished second in the 60 meter dash. Franklin finished third. This is the second heat. Malachi from Delaware State, Little, Keon Ranton, Morgan State, Kai Cole from Norfolk State, and Traquan Barnes in lane six from Norfolk State. So it's Barnes, teammate Kai Cole in lane number five. Ranton lane number four bringing up the rear right now is Malachi Little from Delaware State Little trying to make a move but coming around after one lap and that's all it takes and it's going to be Kai Cole that's his second win today Kai Cole He's on fire right now. He won the 60 meter dash earlier with a time of 6.66. 20.77 was the time for Kai Cole. So it'll be Kai Cole, Anthony Franklin, 2101, and Joseph Manu. Franklin finished second overall. Manu finished third. Kai Cole, 27 to 7. And we talked about Cole, the junior out of Norfolk State. His personal best before today was 2101, and he just set his own personal record in this 200 meters with a 2077. Previously, it was 2101. Of course, like I said, he won the 60 meters earlier with a time of 6.66. I mentioned the fact that he was from Alexandria, Virginia. Now we're getting ready for the long distance races for the women. It's the 3,000 meters. 15 laps, nine runners.
Jada Banks, South Carolina State. Kara Grant, Jr. from Norfolk State. Free to coach. Junior from Norfolk State. Jocelyn Crosby, freshman from Howard. Rachel Fields, senior from Morgan. Ashante Myers, sophomore of South Carolina State. So they stuck steadily. Uh, sophomore from Coppin State, Laura Menendez from uh, Maryland Eastern Shore, sophomore, and Dominique Spann, sophomore from Maryland Eastern Shore, will make up the field. All right, let's go down to Donna. She's standing by with the two time winner today, Kai Cole. He's won two events. Yeah, Charlie, two event. 27 tap, 7 7. And you get your second win today. Yeah. No. Yeah. Put. Hey. Yeah. Die. Hey, Charlie, you can see that he's tired after that, but this was a race that you put all the pieces together. Yes, sure did. I mean, I listened to my coach, knew what my flaws was. It was coming in off the embankment. And today, I put it together. And did my all-time PR 2077. So now next up, outdoor. Talk about your teammate, Anthony Franklin. He came in second, and you had to wait for that race. I love all my teammates, and especially him. I'm extremely proud of him. We, are, we worked hard all season, every day. Even last year, our indoor got cut short. He know we came back better. Outdoor, indoor, and hopefully, hopefully we come across the board one, two, three, in every event and outdoor. Thank you so much, Charlie. Back to up to you, the hundred, well, the sixty and the two hundred meter race. Back to you. All right, set a personal best. That is Kai Cole, the junior from Alexandria, Virginia, with that performance. He may be the he may take home the track athlete award. Keep that stuff up. Doing pretty good. And right now, Norfolk State still leading Howard on the women's side. Correction. On the men's side, Norfolk State leading Howard by 50. Make that 60 points. They have it uh, with two events to go. 161 to 101. But on the other side, Howard University with uh, two events to go. They have a 33 point lead over Norfolk State. Morgan State still holding down that number three spot, but they are a long way away from taking over the number two spot. This is the women's 3,000 meters. Total distance 1.86 miles, or you could call it a 3K. Meet record for the MEAC is 953.02, set by Jonah, Janet. Okago of Hampton back in 2017. NCA record, Carissa Schweizer, Missouri, 841.60 was the time that she put down in 2018. And when you talk about the top three finishers in the conference this season, Jada Banks of South Carolina State had a time of 10.21.07. Kara Grant, Norfolk State, a 10.49.51. Her career best is a 10:39-38. She did that two years ago in the same event, the MEAC Championship, finishing fifth in the final. And earlier today, she ran the 800 meters. That was Kara Grant. Ran the 800 meters earlier today in this uh, 2022 MEAC Women's Championship. And the 800 meters for the women. Actually, Grant finished third in the 800 meters earlier today.
Also in this event is Frida Koich from Norfolk State. 10 54 68. She ran. Her career best 10 17. 55 in 2019. She also did that. In this MIAC indoor championship. I want to remind all of our viewers that the Mid Eastern Athletic Conference is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the passage of Title IX with a series of stories and milestones throughout the remainder of this calendar year. There'll be 50 stories highlighting pioneers and monumental moments in MIAC women's sports history as selected by the conference office and the member institutions will be featured on MIACsports.com, the MIAC social media platforms and member institutions digital outlets. The programming will also include partnerships with the Women's Sports Foundation and the YWCA the conference's partnership with the YWCA will include donation drives at all MIAC championships for the remainder of this calendar year starting with this event here in Virginia Beach this week. The campaign will conclude on December 1st so make sure you get involved as they celebrate the 50th anniversary of the passage of Title IX and kind of appropriate that we talk about it while the ladies running the 3000 meters. Fifteen laps. Again the. Top teams top competitors top times. Will go on to. Compete at the NCAA indoor track and field championships. That'll be held March 11th and 12th down in Birmingham, Alabama at the Birmingham Crossplex. It'll be the 57th year for the men and 40th championship NCAA for the women with 650 selected athletes competing in 34 different events. Been talking about the fact that North Carolina A&T was the winner of the last four men and women's indoor championships. The last team other than A&T to win was Bethune Cookman on the men's side in 2016, Hampton on the women's side in 2016. Both of those schools no longer in the conference. Norfolk State, the last one to win, captured the men's title in 2013. In the women's title in 2010. Of course, we mentioned earlier at the top of the show that this uh, 2020 championship was wiped out because of the pandemic. It uh, resumed last year. Actually, we didn't have it last year. It was wiped out. But uh, we'll see what happens. Oregon winning the men's indoor and LSU the runner-up. That was. Oregon's fourth championship in the last seven meets. The ladies saw Arkansas take the top spot, followed by Texas A&M. That was Arkansas' third win in the last six meets. They were runners-up in two of the other three. Hope you've enjoyed this 2022 version of the MIAC Indoor Track and Field Championships. This is the women's 3,000 meters. Out in front right now.
Humphrey, the coach of Norfolk State, had the lead, just gave it up a moment ago to Jocelyn Crosby from Howard University. She's a freshman. So is Cosby from Howard University. Crosby Howard University is first place. Frida Koich from Norfolk State in second. Now a move being made by the Spartan State, the Spartans of Norfolk State. And that is Frida Koich. Dudley from Coppin State is in third. Norfolk State's Kara Grant is in fourth. So it's a battle for that first spot now. Between Koich and Jocelyn Crosby from Howard. Number one and number two. But don't count out Studley from Coppin State. Down the stretch. Final lap. Final lap of this 15 lap race. Howard University out in front. Howard University's Jocelyn Crosby. Frida Koich, Norfolk State in second. Kara Grant, Norfolk State in third. Now let's see if Koich is going to make a move down the stretch. Here comes Koich. Here we go. Crosby just shifted into another gear. Yeah, I mean, she's pulling away. Miak record 953.02. But Crosby trying to ensure that the Howard University's women walk away with the women's team trophy. Laura Melendez from Maryland Eastern Shore. Dominique Spann from Maryland Eastern Shore. But the winner, Howard University. Jada Banks. We're seeing Jada Banks from South Carolina State. I thought that was Howard University.
Thanks, Crosby and Coach. Howard University finished second, and Norfolk State finished third. So Banks 10 27 64. Crosby from Howard University 10 52 70. And third place coach 10 55 70. Top three spots. Now we get ready for the men's 3,000 meters. Miak record 804. 28 set by Merlin Easton Shores. All time great. Khalil Ramidi Kanini back in 2017. The NCAA record 738.59. Alistair Craig of Arkansas did it in 2004. And this season, the top three finishers. Ayodi Adebayi from Howard University had an 848-87 during the season. Gavin Williams of Howard an 850-63. And Albert Norman of Delaware State an 853-85. Men's 3,000 meters. Lane one is Ayodi Adebayi from Howard. Lane two, Gavin Williams. And they say lane two. They have the two on their shoulder Albert Norman of Delaware State Meshach Kipchich here of Norfolk State Evans Chariot from Norfolk State Isa Suleiman of Norfolk State Trey Felton South Carolina State Devin Smith Delaware State Ashton Drake from North Carolina Central Justin Austin from Morgan State Tafari Stevenson from Howard, Sean Smith, Maryland Eastern Shore, Julian Lawson from Howard, and Edward Kipruto, Kipruto of Maryland Eastern Shore. The top, there are 14 participants scheduled for this men's 3,000. Howard University's women with a 30 point advantage over Norfolk State. Norfolk State's men with a 60 point advantage over Howard going into this 3,000 meters with one event left after the 3,000 meters, and that's the relay, the 4x400. Four Four, five, and six. Norfolk State occupying those spots with Meshach Kipchishir, Evans Chariot, and Isa Suleiman. Here we go. Albert Norman of Delaware State taking the lead at the start of this one. This is an endurance rate a three three K. You know, they talk about the five K's and the 10 K's and the 
marathons and all of that. Ashton Drake, North Carolina Central, in second place right now. Mishak Kiptrachir of Norfolk State moved into the number two spot. Yodi Adebayi from Howard University is third. Norman in first. Kipchichur in second. A lot of people in third. They've spread out pretty good there. Norfolk State's Evans Chariot moved up into the number three spot. So a battle for third place between Adebayi and Chariot. Norman still holding down the number one spot. Well, he was until he was just passed by Kipchichur. And here comes the other Norfolk State runner, Chariot. So the two Spartans battling each other for that number one spot. And Abai still hanging in there, as is Gavin Williams now trying to make a move. Norfolk State's Isa Suleiman also getting into the act right now. Norfolk State, the top two spots, Delaware State in third, and at a bye from Howard University in fourth. Again, the meet record for the men, 8.04.28, set back in 2017. <laughs> Norfolk State in the top two spots. Delaware State in third, four and five. Make that Howard in third now. Delaware State in fourth, Howard in fifth. Norfolk State one and two, Howard three and four, Delaware State five. Meshach, Kipchurcher, Chariot, Adebayi, and Williams. And in fourth place is Albert Norman, Delaware State.
Third place now been taken over by Gavin Williams of Howard University. Passing his teammate. Ayode at a bye. Three thousand meters, fifteen laps. Gavin Williams of Howard had the second best time in the conference this year. So the way they started out with out of by actually Albert Norman from Delaware State, he had the third best time in the conference this year. He's in fourth place right now. Howard had the other two best spots. Adebayi had the best time, 8:48. He's in fourth, fifth place right now. Gavin Williams, who's now in third place, had the second best time in the conference this year, an 8:50, 63. Gavin Williams is like he's biding his time. Albert Norman is right there with him. He started out. Leading this race, Norman from Delaware State. Norman is a senior. Gavin Williams is a senior. Adebayi, a senior. Kip Tachir, Jr., Chariot, a sophomore. Those are the top runners. Top five right now. Comes out of Bay. Trying to make a move. Chariot still in the lead out of Bay. Is taking the lead. So as his teammate is in second place, that's Gavin Williams. Chariot in third place right now. So the two Howard runners battling each other. Final lap. Norman falls to fourth place. Chariots in third. And it's a battle between uh, Dubai and Williams. Williams has taken the lead from his teammate from Howard University. Adebayi will finish in second. Williams will finish in first place. Gavin Williams. Chariot will finish in third. Kip Tachir will finish in fourth. And it'll be Norman finishing in fifth place. Eight fifty four twenty for Gavin Williams. Good race. That gave Howard some more points in terms of the men's score, finishing in the top two spots. But Norfolk State was right there at the end.
So of course we're still waiting for the. Exciting finish to today's action the four by four. Or as some people call it the 1600 relay. Four people passing the baton. And this will be run in two heats. Maryland Eastern Shore, Delaware State, and Morgan State will run in the first heat. And the second heat will be run on the women's side by North Carolina Central, Norfolk State, South Carolina State, Howard, and Coppin State. say anything. So with some time left before we go to the finals of the day. Just to recap some of the action from this the final day of the MIAC indoor track and field championships from here in Virginia Beach Virginia the day started with the women's pole vault won by Annalise Bond from Delaware State followed by Shani Asano of Morgan State and Destiny Hooks of Norfolk State University the women's shot put Janelle Johnson of Morgan State Leslie Young of Norfolk State and Minyarn Smalls of Howard, the top three finishers in the shot put for the ladies. In the men's pole vault, Peter Kamino, Delaware State, Joshua Gosley of Maryland Eastern Shore, and Kalon Jeffries of Norfolk State, the top three spots there. In the women's triple jump, Micah Fulton from North Carolina Central, Antonuke Shitu of Maryland Eastern Shore and Jate Joyner of Howard University the top three finishers in the women's triple jump in the men's shot put Zachary Dillon of Morgan State John Purvis of Morgan State Matthew Swepson of North Carolina Central the top three finishers there in the women's mile run you had Camila Munner of Coppin State Victoria Swepson of North Carolina Central Kara Grant Norfolk State the top three finishers there the men's mile the men's mile saw uh, Reagan Kim of Norfolk State Gavin Williams of Howard who just won the 3000 meters and Jashan Walker of Norfolk State come out on top there in the men's triple jump it was Chase Drury of Howard Isaac Haywood of Norfolk State and Kobe Jordan rooms of Morgan State the top three in that event. 
women's 60 yard hurdles or 60 meter hurdles. K.O. Ray Dunbar from Howard, India Richards, Norfolk State, and Alea Otley from Morgan State, the top three finishers in the women's 60 meter hurdles. The men's 60 meter hurdles Tayshawn Chisholm of Delaware State, Jermaine Bird, Howard University, and Darian Claiborne of Howard University. I think I mentioned the men's triple jump. And uh, the men's 60 hurdles. Women's 400. Jessica Wright, Howard University. Malika Pride, Norfolk State. And Kamani Alphonse of Coppin State in the women's 400 dash. The men's 400 dash. Traquan Barnes, Norfolk State. Jelani Watkins, Merlin Eastern Shore, of Shane Beckford of Merlin Eastern Shore in the men's 400. The women's 60 meter dash. Sherry Ann Norton, Howard University, the freshman in first place, followed by Latifa Ali of Coppin State and Jessica Gabay of Howard University. The men's 60, won by Kai Cole of Norfolk State. He won two events today. Joseph Manu of Coppin was second, Anthony Franklin of Norfolk State was in third place in that event. Then in the women's 800 meter run, Camila Monaroak, two events she won today, followed by Jamel Wyatt of Coppin State and Kara Grant of Norfolk State, the women's 800 meter run. The men's 800 meter run, won by Amadou Ba from Coppin, Tyler Jeffries of South Carolina State, and Randy Seville of Coppin State finished in the top three. The women's 200 meter dash, Latifa Ali Coppin in first, Jessica Kabai of Howard in second, and Malika Pride of Norfolk State in third. The men's 200 meter, Kai Cole of Norfolk State, his second win of the day, Anthony Franklin. And Joseph Manu wound out the top three in the men's 200. Women's 3,000 meter, Jada Banks, South Carolina State, Jocelyn Crosby, Howard, Frida Koich of Norfolk State, the top three. And the women's 3,000 meters, Jada Banks, correction, I just mentioned that, the men's 3,000 meters. Gavin Williams. Coyote, Adebayi, and Evans Chariot, Norfolk State. Those are the top three finishers. So we're getting ready for the four by four. We've got in the four by four, we will have three heats. Make that two heats for the women and two heats for the men. So, in the first heat, we have Merlin Eastern Shore. They'll line up in lane four. We may only have two people. Let's see. I'm looking now. There's nobody in lane five. So, I see lane four and six. And that's Northern Eastern Shore and Morgan State. Morgan State in lane six. Merlin Eastern Shore in lane four. Delaware State not competing in this one. They were supposed to occupy lane five.
Morgan State, Delaware State. Yasmin George. Maryland Eastern Shore. Spencer Settle. The first leg. Here's the handoff. Maryland Eastern Shore out in front. For the exchange. Maryland Eastern Shore out in front right now. The first of two heats in the four by four. Now here comes Morgan State for the exchange, taking the lead. Four by four for the ladies. Miak record 340-22. Hampton University did that in 2018. The NCAA record is 326-27. Texas A&M set that a year ago. Top three teams in the regular season for this event. Howard University had the best time. 340-08. Followed by Coppin with a 340-104 and South Carolina State third, 348-93. All of them are in the second heat. Chris, like I said, this will be running two heats. First heat is just Morgan and the Maryland Eastern Shore team. The Hawks. And here's Morgan out in front right now. Here's is the anchor. Anchor leg of the four by four. Morgan State is going to take the this one. So the first heat Morgan State three fifty eight eighty four. Four oh two oh five for Maryland Eastern Shore. The second heat should see all the lanes occupied with North Carolina Central in lane number two, Norfolk State in lane number three. South Carolina State lane number four. Lane number five Howard University and Coppin State starting out in lane number six. Ladies setting their Blocks for the start.
Women's four by four. Lane number six, Coppin State. Lane number five, Howard University. Norfolk State as they drop down and they stagger. Norfolk State out in front right now. That is Malika Pride running the first leg of this four by four for Norfolk State. Howard University starting to make its move. And the handoff. It's Howard University. Coppin State, Norfolk State. Maryland Eastern Shore. North Carolina Central. Correction, South Carolina State. Coppin State. North Carolina Central. Coppin State out in front right now in this exchange. Howard will be second. South Carolina State third and Norfolk State fourth. North Carolina Central bringing up the rear. Coppin State. Howard University. South Carolina State. Norfolk State. And North Carolina Central getting ready for the anchor leg of this the ladies four by four. Howard University's trying to make a move on this final exchange. And it's going to be a good one between Howard and Coppin. This is the anchor leg. Morgan State correction. Norfolk State, and then South Carolina State, and then North, South, uh, North Carolina Central. Coppin State. Howard University trying to run her down. Howard University trying to make a move. Howard University shifted into another gear. Howard University coming down the home stretch. Coppin State is in second. Howard University first. It'll be Howard University winning the women's four by four. Third place goes to South Carolina State, Norfolk State in fourth, and North Carolina Central. University bringing up the rear. That might have just wrapped it up for Howard University as far as the points for the women. 338, 67 the time. Not that far off the meet record. Meet record was 340.22. He ran a 338.67. Coppin a 339.73. South Carolina State in third place there. Three forty eight seventy six for South Carolina State. Mm -hmm. 
now the men ready to do their thing. This will also be run in two heats. Lanes four, five, and six. Lane four would be Maryland Eastern Shore. Morgan State will be in lane five. Howard in lane six. Men's by four. Lane six, Howard. That'll be Cameron Key. He'll be leading it off for the first leg. Oregon State in lane five. Emmanuel High Bay leading it off for the Bears. Lane three, Maryland Eastern Shore. complete each leg is two laps 1600 meters overall first exchange University. Merlin Eastern Shore second. Merlin Eastern Shore making a move on Howard University. Third place is Morgan State. Here the Hawks of Merlin Eastern Shore. Here's the exchange. Third leg of the four by four for the men. Good exchange. For the Hawks of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. Getting ready for the anchor leg. Maryland Eastern Shore out in front. Three oh nine oh four, the record for the men set by Hampton in 2014. NCAA record, three minutes point seven seven seconds. Southern Cal did that in 2018. Top three teams in the regular season. Well, this event was Norfolk State, South Carolina State, and Coppin. Two heats. One lap to go. Final rule. Race of the day. We have the second heat still coming. This is the first heat. Maryland Eastern Shore. Out in front. So it'll be Maryland Eastern Shore taking the first heat. Howard second and Morgan third. And 
Maryland Eastern Shore taking the first heat. So our second heat will feature North Carolina Central in lane two. Delaware State in lane three. Coppin State in lane four. Norfolk State in lane five. And South Carolina State in lane six. So Merlin Eastern Shore with a time of 321 59. Morgan 320 43. They think they said they started Howard finished 321 16. So Howard was third. Again, during the regular season, 312.08 was the best time put up, and that was by Norfolk State. South Carolina State had the second best time of 314.24, followed by Coppin State with a time of 314.95. That was during the regular season. Again, the meet record, 309.04. Howard University will win the women. They've already outscored Norfolk State 184 to 149. Norfolk State, barring a disaster here, they they will win the men's over Howard University, who's in second place now. Norfolk State's in second on the women's side. Morgan State will bring up the third place finish overall. This is the second heat of the men's four by four. The lead off first leg. Norfolk State, Coppin State, Howard. Correction. Norfolk State, Coppin State, North Carolina Central. And here is the exchange. Coppin State, South Carolina State. Norfolk State, Delaware State. Coppin State. Here comes Norfolk State. Here comes Delaware State. Delaware State's moved into the number three spot right now. Coppin, Norfolk, Delaware State, South Carolina State, and North Carolina Central. Ready for the third leg. Coppin State increasing the lead. Third leg. Good exchange. Coppin State. Look at the move North Carolina Central has made, but here comes South Carolina State into the second place spot. North Carolina Central, Delaware State. And then Norfolk State in the rear. Young man who's done it all from Norfolk State today, running the third leg in this. Kai Cole. Here's Coppin State still out in front, South Carolina State second. 
This is the anchor. South North Carolina Central. Coppin North Carolina Central. South Carolina State Delaware State and Norfolk State. Coppin. Coppin State. North Carolina Central. South Carolina State. Coppin. Here comes South Carolina State. Picking up the second spot. South Carolina State making a move. It's going to be a photo finish. It'll be South Carolina State. Knocking off. Coppin State. South Carolina State. 313-64. Coppin 313-65. North Carolina Central 314-35. So it is South Carolina State one one hundredth of a second. Separated them from Coppin State and winning the four by four. Let's look at this finish again. They come down the stretch. Here's the exchange. Coppin State. Here we go. At the finish. Here's South Carolina State. Getting the lean and getting the win for the Bulldogs. What a day. What a day here in Virginia Beach. And what an exciting event. What an exciting time. For these young athletes. We do say congratulations to Norfolk State. Norfolk State men. They will win the men's overall championship this year. While the women, Howard University, it's their victory. It'll be just Howard last time that they won the women was 1983. The last time they won it. Correction make that 1989. They also won it in 1983. So they have this will be their third MIAC indoor championship 1983 1989 and 2022. On the men's side, Norfolk State last won it in 2013. So this is not unusual for them. This is their ninth, make that tenth indoor championship for the Spartans of Norfolk State. They had an eight year span that they won eight in a row. And right now, they can celebrate winning the men's championship. With 175 points, Howard walks away with 184 on the ladies' side. And the Norfolk State men's team taking a lap around the track. Knowing they have accomplished something. Something that hadn't been done on the men's side for a team other than Bethune maybe or North Carolina a &T. So they last won it in 2013. It's been a nine year drought eight year drought. But on the ladies side for Howard University. It's been a while since they've 
walked away with the trophy. And we say congratulations to Coach David Oliver for that. On the other side for Norfolk State, Coach Kenneth Giles for an outstanding job with his Spartan team. Again, an exciting finish, as always, the four by four. Four by four, one by Howard. The time of 338.67 with Wright, Scott, Salee, and Gabay. Gabay running the anchor. Coppin State was in second with Alphonse, Ali, Lane, and Tomlinson running the anchor. South Carolina State. Finished third in the four by four with a time of 348.76 with Thorne Brown, Donovan, and Williams running the anchor leg. On the men's side, South Carolina State wins the men's four by four, 313.64. Brewington, Grimber, Jet, Barker, and Jeffers winning, running the anchor to nose out Coppin State's Noah Ball, who finished second. At his Coppin State with Serville, Manu, Ba, and Norval. Norval was the anchor. North Carolina Central finished third, 314 35. Lewis, Urellis, Hunter, and Carter, the anchor. And a congratulations there. The ladies from Howard University, they have a lot to be proud of. Great uh, showing for them. Winning this year's MIAC Indoor track and field championship. It's been a long time coming for coach David Oliver. So you see the champions Norfolk State with 175 points. Howard finished second. In the men's point total, Morgan third on the women's side, Howard 184 points, Norfolk second, Morgan State third. Great showing. Coppin State was hanging in there also. They finished fourth with 86 points, right two points behind Morgan on the women's side, and uh, they finished in fourth place on the men's side. Make that fifth place on the men's side. With 60 points. So they have a lot to celebrate. Be a nice bus ride back to Washington, D.C. for the Lady Bison of Howard. Spartans don't have to travel that far, just down the road. Since we're in Virginia Beach. What a great meet. Great facility here in Virginia Beach. It's called the Virginia Beach Sports Center. Great facility and a great week of track and field for the MIAC. And a great time for Commissioner Sonia Stills to step into the new leadership role and see this championship come to fruition. Of course, they've got uh, a couple of other events coming up soon. it be the MIAC basketball championships and the tournament, which will take place March 9th through the 12th, just down the road in Norfolk at the Scope in Norfolk, Virginia. And then a, about a little over a week after that, we'll see the MIAC bowling championships, which will take place back here in Virginia Beach. So a lot going on as far as the MIAC is concerned. But of course, COVID took its toll on this championship a year ago. It did not happen. But the, back in, it, it happened this year. And what an event it was. What a time it was. From the opening day to today. It started out on Monday. You had the pole vault, triple jump. Shot put. Women's mile. 
Uh, and he went into today's action with the the mile for the women and the men. He had the triple jump. He had the 60 meter hurdles. 400 meter dash. 60 meter dash. 800 meter run. Both the men and the women. 200 meter dash. Three thousand meters, and of course the four by four. So it was a great event. Thank all our people who helped us along the way to make this happen. From again the commissioner, Sonia Stills, and all of her staff. In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. The guy who does maybe the hardest working man in show business when it comes to getting us ready for these events. We're talking about Iggy. He, he does it all. I'd like to thank him for his hard work. But again. There's the podium. For the. Four by four. Coppin State. <laughs> South Carolina State. Coppin State, North Carolina Central. South Carolina State, but I'll tell you, they just came through at the last moment and won that one. Jeffers got his nose right out in front of Norval. Jayad Norval. Tyler Jeffers made the difference. In that last race, the four by four. Always an exciting race. That's why they put it at the end of the day. 17 events scored. And Howard University on the women's side comes out victorious. Norfolk State on the men's side.
David Oliver, outstanding coach for the men's side. Howard University on the women's side, I should say. His team won the women's championship. He's had enough during his career as an athlete at Howard University. Not bad. There's the, the trophy. Here's the ladies. Say congratulations to David. Been a long time, 
Here with coach David Oliver, congratulations on getting the championship for the women. And you talked about me that the outdoor season was your strength, but this it's been 1989 since the women captured the championship. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it takes a, a whole team. You know, it, you see us as the coaches and the athletes, but, you know, the people behind the scenes, uh, you know, without them, we wouldn't be able to make this work from the top down. You know, President Frederick, uh, Kerry Davis, our AD, uh, Paul Bowden in compliance, LaShandra Gary, all those types of people uh, get us to the place we are now. So just thankful for all of them. And to bring our first title back on the women's side since 1989 at my alma mater is a, a pretty good feeling. How sweet is this overall? With what went into not having an outdoor season last year and then coming, what, indoor season and then coming back this year? What was the message to your team? Uh, well, we just got to be fighters. You got to be resilient. Uh, we had a successful outdoor season last year, so we just used that as a springboard for this indoor season. And, uh, you know, we got some awesome performances today. Uh, you know, it's a lot of this is an awesome conference, and the results speak for themselves. They always have. And just thankful to host the, host the, the championship trophy. Of, you know, it's a good feeling. Yeah, that big smile on your face tells it all. But you had a strong feel of ladies this year. Yeah, yeah, the women, you know, Howard University, we're, we're so strong academically. Uh, you know, we attract some of the best and brightest minds in the country, and, you know, that spills over to our, our uh, athletic side. And our women's team is very strong. That's been a strong point for uh, several years now. And we're just happy that they were able to get the job done and come out here and uh, send some of these seniors off for their last indoor championship uh, meet with an actual championship trophy. Came up a little short for the men, though. Yeah, yeah, it's tough, um, you know, but still, uh, you know, we haven't ho ho hoisted a trophy on the men's side indoor since the 80s, I believe. So whether it's first place runner up, so it's been a long time and uh, we're still on the uh, upward swing and, you know, we'll, we'll we'll keep working to try to get there on that men's side. Well, you know, we just got to keep grinding a little bit harder. Congratulations again. Coach. Thank you so much.
Coach, congratulations on getting the title first time for the men since 2013. Yeah, long time coming, long time coming. Thank you. I appreciate it. So what went into getting this championship in the indoors this year? Well, you know, we made we made some personnel changes and then, you know, the student athletes bought into the personnel changes that we made on the men's side. Um, we made them in the program overall and, and, and both programs, you know, bought into the changes that we made and that attributed to the success. What was the message to your team, both the men and the women? The women came up uh, a little short, but what, what's the message that you delivered to them all season long? Well, we told them just to stay locked in and buy into what we had. And, and they bought in. We, you know, we had some mishaps that we couldn't control on the women's side. But, um, you know, that comes with the territory. But, you know, Howard did a great job, and I want to congratulate David Oliver and his team. And um, on, on the men's side, we knew we had a good team. We really did. We knew everything would come into fruition once we stepped on the track. You know, this is where we train at in Virginia Beach Sports Center. So I want to thank Virginia Beach, um, you know, the city of Virginia Beach for letting us train. Here. I want to thank my athletic director Melody Webb and her crew and everything. They've done a good job in making sure that we have the things that we need to win a championship. So you have a little edge traveling here, but congratulations, Charlie. All right, thank you very much, and congratulations to Howard University, the ladies for women winning the MIAC Women's Championship, David Oliver and his crew in Norfolk State for winning the men and Coach Kenneth Giles and his group. For Donna Hopkins and all of us here, Charlie Neal saying so long from Virginia Beach, Virginia.